assumptions of kinetic theory of gases. Think of a cylinder having atoms inside, atoms or molecules. Point number one is a gas consists of very large number of molecules which are perfect elastic spheres. Point number one large number. Do you agree? 1 mole 22.4 liters of a gas 6.023 into 10 power 23 large number 1 elastic means you can apply law of say elastic collision conservation of momentum force newton's law different for different gases size of atoms is different for different gases means what for hydrogen it is different for oxygen it is different. <coughs> 2 the molecules of gas are in state of continuous rapid and random motion random motion means what there is no predetermined path atom can move this way collides with the wall again collision takes place with another atom and it moves haphazardly randomly indisciplined unorganized unpredictable speeds yes speeds vary from 0 to infinity theoretical limits 0 means when the atom is in contact with the wall speed is momentarily 0 infinity means speed can be very high 3 the size of gas molecules is very small as compared to distance between them means what size of the atom is very very small distance between the two is very large so that means what volume occupied by the atoms is very very small in comparison to volume occupied by gas fourth the molecules do not exert any force of attraction or repulsion except collision interact force interatomic force force between the two is zero interatomic force force between atoms is zero but they exert force during collision time with you is four minutes write first four points. Here V stands for volume not speed. V is volume. If you compress a gas, the gap between the two will keep on decreasing. That is why it will deviate from ideal gas. When you compress, it may get liquefied, and then PB is equal to NRT is not applicable to leak code. We are talking about an ideal gas. Assumptions, these are assumptions kinetic theory of gases means when you deal with ideal gas.
point number 5d is with what collisions with what a particle can have a collision number 1 with the wall two with another atom with the wall or with another atom p collision this collision will be of what type yes elastic collision with the wall or collision with the another atom it is elastic point number 5 in the same point as such the momentum and the kinetic energy the molecules are conserved during collision for elastic collision yes total momentum before collision is equal to total momentum after collision total kinetic energy before collision is equal to total kinetic energy after collision point number 6 molecular density is uniform throughout the gas density in a lake two points point number 1 and point number 2 density at 1 and density at 2 yes density at 1 is more than density at 2 why because of pressure because of compression density at 1 is more in comparison to density on the top layer so we say there is a density gradient in the lake density is different at different points but we assume the density to be same similarly for gases also in zone 1 and zone 2 you will assume density is same in zone 1 and zone 2 that means density is same throughout you talk of any volume 1 liter gas here 1 liter here 1 liter here any point 1 liter will have same mass so density remains the same this is point number 6 7 a molecule moves along a straight line yes path molecule this is one another atom inside the gas it moves from one atom moves say collision number 1 and it moves to another one it moves from p to q during its journey there is no collision in between the two then it moves in a straight line point number 7 a molecule moves along a straight line between two successive collisions so atom or molecule moves in straight line after the collision it may change its direction but in between two collisions it is same and the average straight distance covered between two successive collision is called mean free path total distance by total collisions number of collisions example a person has covered 50000 kilometers total distance covered by a person is 50000 km and the number of accident is 5 so 10000 km is the average distance in between the two when do you think is the next accident due yes 50 plus 10 60000 so the person is likely to have one accident when one covers next 10000 kilometers this is what we mean by the term mean free path eight the collisions are almost instantaneous means what time of collision is almost zero travel time say 50000 kilometer maybe the person has taken 1000 hours to cover that agreed or not 50 km per hour and the person has taken maybe 1000 hours during these collisions 
one collision one accident fraction of a second one collision one accident is fraction of second so the accident time is very very small in comparison to total travel time that is what we mean by last point eight point the collisions are almost instantaneous the time of collision of the two molecules is negligible as compared to time interval between two successive collisions.